Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As always, if you want any more info, check out the description below. In this video, I will explain how to delay heavy tasks and by this improve response time of specific endpoints. Good examples of such tasks would be send notification to user, for instance via email or SMS, send request to external system, any heavy data calculation. Examples of tasks that most probably should not be delayed. Modify data that should be present in response. For instance, you return customer's information and later you update it. The problem is that the endpoint will return not updated information. Save data in database or any other storages. This task should not be delayed because you would probably want to return an error in case data wasn't stored. Not time-consuming parts of main business logic. It doesn't make sense to delay such tasks as your code will become more complicated and it will be more difficult to understand it. You can delay tasks by using current terminate event or component messenger. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can achieve this by using component messenger. You can find the link to my tutorial about kernel terminate event in the description and here in the top right corner. This component provides a message bus and helps to send messages to your application or send them via message queues to be handled later. Let's take a deeper look into this component. It consists of message, message bus and handlers. If the message bus is synchronous, the message is consumed immediately by the handler. But more popular and more interesting approach to use asynchronous message bus. In this case, the message is sent via transport to queue system. The worker is looking in real time for messages and synchronously dispatches them via message bus. Then this message is consumed by handler. Let's check its individual components. First one is message, and it can be any PHP object. Small hint. If you need to pass a doctrine entity in a message, it's better to pass the entity's primary key and retrieve fresh object later in the handler. Or you can pass another relevant information which is required by the handler, like email or phone, but don't pass the entity itself. Once message is dispatched via message bus, it's wrapped in envelope and passed to middlewares. Sometimes you may need to configure something extra about the message like the way it should be handled inside the queue or adding a delay before a message should be handled. You can do that by adding stamps to the envelope. There are already some predefined stamps that are available in the messenger component. And of course, you can create your own stamps. Middlewares are executed when the message is dispatched, but also again when a message is received via a worker. You can add your own middlewares to this list or completely disable the default middlewares and only include your own. In addition to middleware, Messenger also dispatches several events. You can create an event listener to hook into various parts of the process. Message bus then delegates message to a transport which is capable of sending messages and then receiving them via worker. Messenger supports different message transports such as MQP, Redis, Doctrine, Amazon SQS and others. If a message doesn't match any routing rules, it won't be sent to any transport and will be handled immediately. If an exception is thrown while consuming a message from a transport, it will automatically be resent to the transport to be tried again. By default, a message will be retried three times before being discarded or sent to the failure transport. Each retry will also be delayed in case the failure was due to a temporary issue. To consume messages, you need a worker. Worker is a symphony command which checks in real time dispatched messages and then sends them to the message bus. Once sent to the bus, messages will be handed over to a message handler. A message handler is a PHP callable that will finally process your message. Now let's write some code. Imagine user wants to get information about his reservation by providing a reservation ID. Every time a user fetches this information, the external system should receive some tracking notification. Let's say this external system is unreliable and processes requests very slowly. So, to not block user, we will send notification using messenger component. The final code you can find in my GitHub repository. The link is available in the description. 
First, we should install Messenger component. For this, run command Composer require Symfony Messenger. Now let's start from a message, and for this I will create a reservation message class, which will contain only reservation ID. By this ID I will fetch fresh version of reservation from database. Let's also create a getter to get a reservation ID. If you want to add any additional information during processing a message, you should create a stamp. I will create the class MyCustomStamp. The only requirement for stamp is that it must implement stamp interface, and PHP should be able to serialize its value. So I create a string property value and generate a constructor. We will also need a getter for this property. Now we should assign this stamp, and for this we should create a new middleware. Create a class Stampit Middleware. This class should implement middleware interface, and we should define a method handle. Be aware that middleware can be called multiple times, and we don't want to add our stamp each time. That is why we need to add a check if our stamp is already attached. We can do it by getting the last stamp from envelope by our class. If it's not there, add a new stamp to the envelope. And I will just pass a random string as a value. At the end we should call next middleware. Let's create a handler which will process our message. Create a new class reservation handler. It should implement message handler interface. Messenger component calls handler as a function, so we should define invoke method. It accepts only a reservation message. In this example, I will send reservation data to external service. So, first get a reservation repository from entity manager. Add property for missing dependency. Then I fetch a fresh reservation object from database by reservation ID, which I get from message itself. Return if such reservation doesn't exist. After this, create a request DTO from reservation object. Add property for transformer. Now we send request to the service. And also add a new property for API client. It's always a good idea to catch errors. Don't ignore them. Instead, Lock all errors to be able to keep track on them in your application. And also add a property for the logger. At the end we can do something with response. And finally I would add types for all properties and create a constructor for all dependencies. Open a file Messenger YAML and let's set up async transport and specify a try strategy. So, message bus will try to send a message three times with one second delay. In the routing section, we should add a mapping between our message and transport. To add our custom middleware, we should configure a bus in bus section and add our middleware into it. Let's come back to the transport section. There is DSN property with environment variable, which is defined in .n file. Open this file and navigate to the messenger section. This section was added automatically with the help of Symfony's receipt during messenger installation. There are already predefined variables for most common transports. We should select one which will process our queue. I would go with Redis but you can use any other supported transport. As I use Docker, I will add a new message transport container with exposed port 6379, which is the default port for Redis. Also define a volume for stored data. Set this container as dependency to PHP container. Open Docker file and add Redis extension.
switch to .n file and uncomment line with Redis configuration. As a host name, use containers name. After these changes, Docker image should be rebuilt. Run Docker Compose app minus D minus minus build. Our configuration is ready and now we can dispatch messages. Open reservation controller and inject message bus into show action. Scroll to the end and call dispatch message from the bus. Pass a reservation message with reservation ID. You can do the same thing using alias dispatch message. And we also can pass an envelope with required stamps. For this, pass envelope object with a message and as a second argument you can pass list of stamps. For example, I will pass delay stamp. Let's test our setup. Open terminal and run symphony command to consume messages. This command expects transport name, in our case it's async. To consume messages from another transport, you should run the same command one more time and specify the new name. Ok, our command is run and waits for incoming messages. Let's send request to get a reservation, which will trigger dispatching a message. In the terminal you can see that message was received and handled. To check that message goes to Redis, call Redis CLI from message transport container. Ok, we are connected to Redis. And first we can get all available keys. It should be only one key, messages. And it has type stream. Now we can read it. By the way, all queries are available in the description. There is currently only one message, but let's send request one more time. And now there is one more message. Everything works fine. I would recommend to use process control system to run your workers. For example, you can use supervisor. Don't let workers run forever. Some services like Doctrine's Entity Manager might consume more memory over time. So, use command messenger consume with this flex. Limit tells worker to handle only n messages and then exit. Time limit to process new messages n seconds. Memory limit the memory limit for worker to consume messages. Also, don't forget to restart workers after each deployment, so they work with new code. To stop workers, run command messenger stop workers, which will inform each worker to gracefully shut down. Alright guys, thanks for watching till the end. This is Cap Coding and I will see you in the next video.